Hey guys, um, <laughs> um, thank you for the healthy boundary day. I got rejuvenated and felt great. Um, uh, that uh, a lot of drama with that, but anyway, um, I want to talk about. I, I posted something on Facebook today, simply about um, uh, opening ceremony uh, at, at the Paris uh, Olympics. Uh, it wasn't a derogatory statement. It was simply uh, as a, a perspective. Okay. Uh, wasn't my perspective. I was just asking a question for people to not hold, not avoid the Olympics uh, because of uh, of um, uh, the gay issue. I'm just going to say it. The drag queens uh, and and a lot of people recognize that as, a, as the Lord's Supper. A lot of people recognize the art. A lot of people recognize it as the Greek background it has. A lot of people recognize a lot of things. People are going to have different opinions, honey, and and people get so upset. Uh, if your opinion doesn't vary with theirs, or if you're a little slight off, and I think it's great, it's healthy, it, it's good to stay involved, and I, I, you know, I hope everybody comes to my podcast. You can have your podcast, I'll come to it. Um, um, I think healthy debate is good, wouldn't you think? I would much rather sit around and have intelligent conversation, and then sit about and talk about uh, uh, somebody else. Or um, uh, stuff that's never going to uh, worry about shit that's not going to happen to me. Okay? So, I'm going to just skip around here because that's just what I do. I don't, uh, I'm not reading a teleprompter. Hell, I can't see half the time. I've got the contacts, but I just can't seem to poke my own eye. I kind of, I, it's hard to grab your own arm, isn't it? Um, I'm trying with the contacts. I just, uh, the whole thing, I had a blast at VisionWorks. So a big shout out to VisionWorks. And uh, Carl, Dr. Carl, uh, over there. Uh, I had a blast with them folks over there. I tell you what, um, if they had a cocktails there, I could have sat there all day long. I had a blast. Everybody was friendly. Um, uh, everybody was laughing, and it wasn't so uh, it wasn't so uh, serious. Uh, you know, a young girl. Um, <laughs> and she, uh, I think I may have mentioned this, but. Uh, uh, you know, she was very professional, and she was young, and I think that's great. Loved it, and, and I was just trying to lighten it on her because, you know, uh, you know how we, we get mad when a telemarketer calls us, and we say, and we hang up, or we say stuff, or, you know, joke about it, but um, she was very serious, and she was telling me everything about it, and she said, pick up that black handle, and I said, okay, and I put it up to my, she told me to put it up against my left eye, and I did, and she goes, well, you see, and I said, a black handle. Uh, I just wanted to laugh. I just wanted to make her laugh. You know, work can be so boring, you know. And that's coming from a, a former cop who lived on the edge every day and loved it, thrived for it. But, he, you know, I always told this tale. Uh, when I first became a cop, when you're a rookie, you, uh, you don't even eat. You're so excited to get out there. I was anyway. But see, the concepts have changed. I would love to hear your con per perception of that. I was so excited to just help people. Couldn't wait to help people. And I didn't even eat the whole shift. And uh, when I wasn't working, if I wasn't sleeping, I was watching cops. And the whole time uh, I went through the police academy, me and the friend that went with me, uh, we listened to bad boys the whole time uh, to Galpolis every single night uh, for eight months. And uh, loved it. Loved it. Uh, I would do it for free. Would do it for free. But if you have that kind of attitude towards something, that passion that you love, people want to crumble it just because they can. Just because they can. But anyway, I'm still here. Um, so like I said, I'm going to skip around a little bit because I'm not going to write shit down anymore. And I'm not going to um, sugarcoat anything. The whole thing I posted today about the Olympics was simply that older people might not understand why there is drag queens on TV when they just simply want to watch uh, ice skating. That was all, that was the point I was trying to make. And everybody, and, I, and I'm gay. So why would I be talking bad about gays, right? Okay, so <laughs> uh, everything, everything got misconstrued about what I posted, right? So it's okay. And it's healthy conversation, but I'm not taking anything away from Paris or what they do over there. I'm just saying, and I'm not meaning over there in a derogatory manner. I'm saying people 
have different perspectives. There's different cultures. Just because somebody doesn't believe in your culture, don't have to start an argument, you know. And, you know, people get defensive and then they start, um, you know, you know, just say what you think and what you feel. You know, you don't have, somebody can fact check you, you know, just like Noah posted on there. Everybody thought he was crazy, conspiracy theorist, and it rained and all the fact checkers died. It's a meme. I didn't invent the meme. I'm telling you, it's a meme. But that just goes to show you. Um, anyway, the whole Olympic thing, everybody watch Olympics, especially um, <laughs> the young lady from Ironton. Yes, I know her name, but I don't have permission to say it. But everybody knows who she is, and she's beautiful, and she's awesome, and she's bringing a lot of attention to Ironton, positive attention that we don't need from all this corrupt stuff that we deal with on a daily. Okay? So I've covered that. Now, I did a little short thing about peer pressure, but, 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 I uh, didn't mention my personal uh, experience with peer pressure, so I'll get back to that. But, <laughs> this whole thing today, it, it's over, okay? The, the issue's over with me. Um, I'll continue, if somebody asks me a question about it, I'll, I'll, I'll say okay, or I'll like it. Um, you know, I've even learned that if you, uh, if somebody posts something, and let's say, uh, like, let's say I go to, uh, uh, Gladys Kravitz, uh, Facebook post, and I see on her, uh, post that she says <laughs> that, uh, she says so-and-so, right? And then I can either like it or I can love it. Now, people will determine that if you liked it, you just might have liked it. But if you loved it, boy, that might lead to something else, Okay. This is how people think. And I'm telling you what, it don't take a psychologist or a psychiatrist uh, to figure out people, if, 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 you, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, so people are going to differ in opinion. Otherwise, life would be boring. Okay, you know, uh, chaos. Um, it's the new cocaine for these young people. It's the new cocaine. It's not. I'm not talking about the drug. That's a quote from the, the movie, The Morning Show. Lord forbid I say anything about a movie. And don't say, yes, I did quote George Carlin uh, the other day. And I, I m mentioned on my YouTube channel that I did quote him. Um, and I'll try from now on anything I remember from like when I was four. And whoever said it that made me remember it, I'll try to figure out who it was just for you. And jot it all down so I can quote them. You know, what cracks me up is I'll, I'll say something on my Facebook. And then somebody will research real quick. And then they'll say, well, so-and-so is the one who said that. I never said I was the one that said it. Okay? Nitpicking. You guys are so petty. Okay? I have an opinion. I accept yours. Accept mine and be done with it. You know? Like me or love me. I don't care. You know? Uh, my responsibilities are with me. Uh, your emotions to my reactions of something you triggered is not my responsibility. Okay? And so... If you get upset after, if you see somebody's post and you get upset about it, that's good. That probably gets your heart rate a little pumped up if you've been just laying around and not do nothing. Like I said, for seniors, use your left hand on the remote if you're in a wheelchair or something like that. Um, you know, yes, I'm an advocate for seniors. So when the whole Olympic thing, I was trying to tell senior citizens, some of them called me and try, asked me what that was. I hadn't seen it yet, so I didn't explain it to them, Okay. If you if you are gay, okay, and you are uh, proud of it, and you be proud of it because there's, you know, people say, oh, that's a choice. They chose that, okay. And I'm gonna be pretty graphic here, but it says not for kids, right? Okay, being gay can be a choice. You can be somebody who you can be in an environment where anybody influences you to be gay. You don't really want to be gay, but you do it to belong because you may be a loner or, or something like that. Nobody can understand somebody's mind. We can't understand each other's minds, right? But I don't think uh, uh, a man uh, just uh, like wakes up one day and says, uh, this is graphic. Uh, I don't think a man wakes up one day and says, uh, hmm, I think I'll suck a dick today. No, I don't think you choose that. <laughs> I don't think you choose that. 
Okay, so let's just take the whole choice of being gay out of that. And uh, but my con my thing about the Olympics today was no by no means meant towards the, the gay community. I'm an advocate for the gay community. Um, <laughs> I mean, my goodness. Uh, and if you think that's not genetic, and uh, how many how many people? How, what do you think? Vikings back in the Vikings, they were gay. There's such a stigmatism, uh, such a label thing, and you know it hurts my heart for people young people uh, that are gay to think that I would uh, post that today on Facebook talking about gay people when I've been a, a proud uh, gay a lesbian uh, my whole life and, and been tortured at work for it, uh, been talked about for it on topics. Everybody went on there and, and you, uh, hidden names because you're chicken shit to say who you are, talk about me, and I didn't care, right? I'm still here. And I'm voicing my opinion. Where are you? Where are you? Pull your girly pants up and, you know, grab your dick in front of your friends and say, let's do this. You know, if you're a Trump fan, do you. If you're a, a Democrat or Republican, you do you. And you know what? I'm right now uh, um, very determined um, to speak out for who I support. But I'm going to let it play out. I'm going to let it play out. Not that any of you care, and it's, I don't care if you care, but I'm going to watch everything. And, you know, here's the problem with the media, which I said three companies own everything we see, and everybody knows that. Um, here's my thing with the media. Um, uh, if, you, if you are a Republican, this is my, my view of it. I'm not stating anybody saying it. This is my personal opinion. If you don't want to hear it, don't watch my video, okay? My view is, if you're a Republican, right, you're going to watch um, uh, Fox. If you love Trump, you're going to watch Fox, right? If you go to someone's house and they have something on, like MSNBC, man, they will, they will, uh, they will, like, roo, roo, roo! you know, I mean, shit, you know, um, and I understand that, but my God, can't we all sit down and joke about it and say, you really think that? Yeah, I do. Uh, do you really think that? Yeah, I do. Everybody is just so die hard. I mean, you want to, you uh, you want to uh, have riots in the street and burn people's houses down and bust in the Capitol. See right there? Does that mean a Republican or Democrat? It wasn't. It was just an example of how everybody gets like, well, I've got to be this or I've got to be that. No, you don't. Be you. Don't let the government divide. That's their whole purpose of this thing. God gave us this beautiful planet. Okay? Beautiful creatures. Everything was wonderful. And then he gave man, created man, and gave man free will. And this is what we've done with it. Okay? So this is what we've done with it. Right? Wouldn't you agree? It's pretty sad. And here, as long as they can keep us all... Why do you think there's two parties? As long as they can keep us all fighting together against each other, we don't know what, who the hell's behind the curtain doing. Yeah, I said hell. Who the hell's behind the curtain doing what? Do you think Biden made his own decisions do you think trump makes his and see that was a question i didn't say either or who i thought did what it was a question do you think biden made his own decisions or do you think trump makes his own okay um i'm just saying i'm just trying to uh, bring awareness and let people discuss it and i i welcome you to my podcast uh because i you know i'm not much to talk about politics and i'm not going to research everything you know, I'll, I'll, I'll research what I need to know, but it's more about personal opinion. Can't we just sit down and talk about what we think? And if we don't know the facts, you know, you don't have to get on there. I, I love Google. I should have stock in Google after much as I promoted Google. But you don't have to get, you know, if I post something, people are like, oh, shit, she posted something. I got, I got to research it and find something. And then you screenshot it and put it up there and, and, and post about uh, what this was. I wasn't asking for research, honey. I know how to research my own stuff. What I'm saying is, um, uh, I encourage everybody um, on your Facebook, okay, or your Twitter or whatever, uh, you know, gosh, whatever, whatever social media you're on. And if you don't like social media, don't watch it. If you don't like YouTube, don't get on it. If you don't like somebody, ignore them. How simple is that? 
Why put yourself through unnecessary drama? You know? Why? Oh, let's get together and let's watch. Uh, you know. <laughs> Who cares, man? I mean, gosh. You got to get a grip on reality. We need a big reality check here. You know, people are starving. And uh, we're sitting here worried about uh, uh, who Kamala slept with, okay? Uh, you know, shit, you know? And uh, everybody's saying, oh, you know, uh, and here Trump is worried. He wants everybody to still talk about his ear. Well, he's still got one. He's talking. He's on stage. He's still got an ear, okay? Yesterday can't hurt you anymore, honey. You, you survived it. Kudos. You survived it. It's over. It can't hurt you anymore, honey. So... You do you and let uh, Kamala do her and all of everybody can fight amongst ourselves while you guys are behind there figuring out how to make our lives more difficult, right? Hey, listen, if a politician, you know what? If I ever run for office again, and that's a big if, but you know what I would say? I would say, um, I'm going to be running for this and that, or I would say, but I'm not going to promise you anything. That's their biggest mistake. Don't promise anything that you're not sure you can uh, make happen. That's a problem. Everybody focuses uh, four years on what you say you're going to make happen. How are you going to make anything happen by yourself, sweetie? How? How are you going? How, how is Sam Cramlin going to make anything happen by himself? How is the city council going to make anything? How is any city council one member? That's why I retired. I never lost. I retired. Would I run again? Maybe. Uh, but, you know, no one person on city council can make a change. Even if city council decides to do something, there's always some big investor in the city of Ironton. Now, this is my opinion. It's not anybody's opinion. Nobody on city council I talk to, uh, friend-wise I do, but not about business or anything like that. Uh, I respect all of those men on there. And... Uh, uh, had a, a a great, interesting, knowledgeable uh, time with them on city council. I have much respect for Iron City Council, uh, but just remember they they can they have a position, and we elect that position, okay? But their hands are tied when it comes to making changes when there's seven people. The majority rules. So if you don't think personal opinions coincide with majority honey, then that's a problem. Wouldn't you think? Okay. Um, um, everybody, uh, you know, what I love to do, what is so fun, if you ever get a chance to do it, do it. Um, uh, just uh, put a hoodie on or uh, uh, wear something you normally wouldn't wear and put some glasses on. Just walk around town and just watch watch stuff. I got some interesting video. and I'm not going to publish it. Uh that's just for me, you know, just uh, wake up in the middle of the night and just walk around while everybody's asleep and just look around and, 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 and watch things. There's some, a lot of crazy stuff that goes on here. And you, do you think it hadn't gone on here? And you think it don't go on all over the country? So I'm circling back around here to the Olympics, but uh, bear with me. Um, so just uh, don't, don't everybody uh, get their feelings hurt, you know. And uh, if, if you have friends that, that get their feelings hurt, uh, they're not your friend, you know. Um, and I'm not meaning that towards anybody. I'm just saying I had some people over last night, and we got in. We, we said we, we had a little jar um, uh, that if we talked about politics or anybody cussed and said a certain word or anybody brought up anything negative, they had to put money in the jar. And, man, by the time they left, that jar was full. And that went towards a water bill. Thank you, guys. But we had a blast. But anyway, um, you know, people, you can't just, uh, you can't sit around and not talk about things and, uh, and believe everything you hear and everything you see. I'm not asking you to believe anything I say. I'm just giving you my personal opinion. So with that being said, I'll give you guys a break. But anyway, setting up out of here for my podcast and, uh, um, it's just, uh, it's amazing how everybody gets riled up and I think that's healthy. Uh, am I taking anything away from Paris? N absolutely not. Have I had the, the blessing of going there? Absolutely not. Would I like to go there? Absolutely. 
Um, I'm not going to judge them because they have a different opinion than people that I'm trying to take up for. I'm an advocate for the elderly. Elderly people don't understand. So instead of getting frustrated with your grandmother because she can't hear you or because um, she can't uh, figure out how to uh, do something on the phone, if you love your grandmother or your aunt or uncle, go to them and say, look, uh, Grandma, look, uh, this is how you do it. Because when you get older, and um, when you get older, things become more difficult. The simplest of things that we take for granted, like uh, simply opening a bottle of pop, you know, we take that for granted, don't we? And then when we go, I, I'm, I'm guilty of it too. I remember going to my mom's house or my grandparents' house, and uh, I was had a, I was blessed with none of my great grandparents. Um, uh, people don't live like they used to back then. Um, you know, shoot, my. Uh, great grandparents uh, lived to be 99 and 100. Uh, but that's a whole different subject of how we're eating everything they want us to eat, drinking everything they want us to drink, uh, creating us to die, making money off us dying, um, making money off of false illnesses, uh, then coming up with a cure for it. And then let's see what else. <laughs> anyway, don't forget that booster. Uh, get that booster shot. For a reality check okay guys hey just just take it easy guys life's too short and if i don't wake up tomorrow anybody out there that hates me honey i love you i don't care if you hate me or not i love it and uh, uh voice your opinion you guys i mean life is too short uh, voice your opinion and i so love it i can't wait for the podcast and everybody to join in and we'll just have a blast on there and uh no judgment and uh We'll have a judgment jar. How's that? We can front, we can, you can have a, a Zoom meeting without everybody disagreeing, but you can have a, a friendly meeting with people disagreeing, and it's okay. Don't you think? So it's Beth Riss. Uh, God bless. Uh, see you in a little bit.